Florence. So let's give it up for Florence! Hi, I'm Florence Suzanne. Uh, also, a note you can find Dalton on Instagram as Dalton.Rapper. You can also find me on Instagram and pretty much anywhere else as Schizo Trash Poet. Um, we run Nowhere as Promise Open Mic. We also run Poetry as Promise Literary Magazine. And we are having a Halloween costume contest tomorrow. And we have Barnes and Nobles giving us a gift card because Ron's a super dude, super cool dude, he's a super dude. <laughs> so I've got three poems tonight. Uh, one I typically never read in bars because some of the bars I did too, no one can get a fucking joke. So I'm gonna read two super sad ones and then I'll move on to the kind of funny sad one because sad is really all I got going on today. Oh god, that is really obnoxious. I am so sorry to everyone I have blinded all night long. Okay, so this one is going to be the title of my next book that comes out. Hopefully I have a publisher in mind, but it depends. I think like me. So it's called But It Falls on Dead Ears. I want to tell you that living without you feels like a shot of liquid glass racing down my throat, tearing through the muscle memory of every I love you I've ever whispered into the dark. Woo, woo. And every I still love you that will fall straight from my lips to the pavement for the rest of my fucking life. I want to tell you that rolling over to an empty space in my arms that you will never again feel is harder than waking up and choking on the wrong side of the bullet I've been window shopping for ever since you left. I want to tell you that I would tear apart my own chest, cracking my ribcage with the fractured screams of your mother, and shove this anatomically correct Valentine's Day cash grab into your body just so you can live for one more second. One more breath. I want to tell you that I got better, that I stopped missing you. That your brother and I traverse the silence of the world without your voice guiding us through obligatory conversations, but we stopped calling. In the end, I want to bury myself and tell you more bullshit and tell you more lies. But headstones and urns don't have ears, and I'm tired of screaming in graveyards. Your communication, your autonomy, your fucking soul. 
and left you lying awake at night terrified of any sound or movement, you're acting like I beat the shit out of you. You are practically hysterical. I only slapped you. These exhausting words echo in your mind, belittling the severity of the situation you now find yourself in once again, all because you had the nerve, the gall, the audacity to tell a man no. You laugh inwardly as if it'll make this moment humorous in any way, no. Never the action that he sort of would never seem to perform, no. A word he barked at you a thousand times, no. The concept of no. That physical boundary you so clearly remember setting is now completely gone. You don't know exactly what it happened or how you got here to this exact point, but your no went from an absolute to a discussion to a fuck and you never saw it fight. You hold your eyes all bones tighter in the dark, hoping that it'll keep you together. Your internal screams ricochet off the inside of your soul. I don't belong to you. I am not a flower to be plucked. I am not an object to be locked away. I am a person. I have and always will deserve better than this. Laura. 